Okay, everybody, look where we are. We are at the administrative office building, or building two, of the dual towers in Skyscraper Sim. And if you're wondering, curious about these dual towers, uh, that's going to be in a separate video. Um, dual towers is a really big thing to unpack, and there's the parking garage. But we're going to do that in a separate video. So today I want to uncover this building right here. It's an administrative office building, security and maintenance center. It's got a full fitness center and a restaurant. Um, now, actually, that it's not there. It just says it is, so just pretend that it exists. Here we are. If you walk into the main area, there's your dual room event center, your fitness, pool. Here's the restrooms. Um, here's a stairway. And back here, I believe it's supposed to be a machine room. I don't know. Um, anyway, offices, another area of the event center, service elevator. So we got a lot to unpack. So we're gonna now we're also so as you can see, dual towers and security and tunnel located on level SL. Uh, we're gonna look at that now. I'm not going to do like a full tour of the dual towers, I'm just going to do the elevators there, because it's really big. Anyways, yeah, PL stands for parking, so like PL7, PL6, PL5, PL1. And then below that is LL2 and LL1, however, um, yeah. The, the, yeah they're, they're, I think they're service levels, so you only get access to service elevators. Um, anyways, let's go to SL. Um, as you can see, there's the button light up. And the indicator. Fun fact: um, the button light. These are just incredible. But the buttons, whenever they light up, um, the two towers. Um, there's tower one and tower two. Tower one's the blue tower, and tower two is the red tower. So in the blue tower, the buttons light up blue, and in the red tower, they light up green. No, no, red. Sorry. Um, so here we are in SNL. Uh, dual towers, administrative offices located on level ML. Um, tunnel to towers and here is the security and maintenance room we're going to look at that next so here tunnel to towers again and up here security maintenance and this is where it's going to get cool you guys are going to love this so here we get a phone but here's where things get all really interesting here's the controls right here get a good look at that um and here's the best part of it all. This is the elevator panel that shows where all the elevators are located inside of the building. Honestly, I don't know why there's an up arrow right there because it's not actually going up. But this is what this looks like. So the, here's the where the elevators are on Tower 1. Here's the elevators for Tower 2. Tower 1 is blue, Tower 2 is red. Remember that. Office hotel, office hotel, um, that, the office hotel area is, uh, yeah, there's actually two other towers, the office tower and the hotel tower. Those are both only like 18 floors in passenger, but the actual highest is 20 floors. Um, the dual tower's actual highest floor is 171, and they have sky lobbies on 41, 81, 121, and 161. But office hotel is like separate from the main uh, towers, but they're not like they don't they're 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 not that tall. Um, that's the main towers I'm also going to do these in a separate video as well because those are on their own project And then we have the common elevators. There's a service elevator and then there's a bunch of passengers Actually, there's two service elevators in that area But this is the coolest part of probably this entire floor So that's definitely cool right there here is another area. I don't even know why this has a reason to exist. Actually, I'll make this that door. So, over here, um, it says utility tools, pool pumps. Yes, this is where the pool pumps are supposed to be. Um, and yes, you'll see a lot of like rooms that look like that. Like this is where all this. Well, this is where the heating is. This is where all the air conditioning unit goes and all that. There's that service elevator that I talked about. We're gonna take full rides on these elevators too. This is not just a tour, we're obviously gonna ride the elevators because who wouldn't? 
Anyways, here's this room. Actually, I don't even know. Uh, actually, we already went in there. Now, this is another this stairwell. Don't know why this has a reason to exist. I have seen in um, rooms where it would be like, like, oh, uh, uh, this is the sur this is the machine, like on mechanical levels, like, this is the machine room for elevator LP409. That's actually an elevator code for what the elevator, for what elevator is which. It would be nice if they just numbered them, but I don't know. They just put some complex code in it. Anyways, now it's time to take a ride on the elevators. Just incredible. With an Otis Chime. Let's go on to PL1. Parking level 1. Parking levels, instead of, instead of the numbers going up while going down, they go down while going down. I guess it kind of makes sense, in a way. Get to zoom in on that indicator for you. Here's a cab view. Pretty nice basic elevator. Pretty much all the elevators look like this, though, so. Right, yeah. Anyways, here's the PL1 level. You can see there's the, your basic parking area. There's nothing too special to see. Let's go back up now. All right, I'll zoom in on the buttons. Let's go up to one. Okay, here we go. So yeah, I like this arrow. It's got the arrow, the Otis arrow. Remember, this is a ThyssenKrupp button elevator. Maybe it got modded. I'm guessing it got modded by by one of them. I think Otis modded it. That arrow and stuff. I think I think Otis was the one who got a hold of it. Anyways, here at one. Now this is supposed to be a restaurant, and I know this because there's a floor directly inside of the main building. But, okay, actually I haven't seen this yet. I'm guessing this is just, maybe this is where the restaurant is, or something. Yeah, there's actually a lot, quite a bit down here. L1, 2, service elevator. Let's just go back out here. You can get a good look around this floor. Here's a view outside, and there's a view of the dual towers themselves. We're so low we can't even see the top of the blue tower. This is the red tower, this is the blue tower. That's the hotel tower, and the office tower is all the way back in there, so you can't see it. Anyway, now that we've done that, I wanna go, I'm want i actually going to ride the service elevator. And I'll show you uh, the second floor, which is a mechanical level. Actually, am I going the right way? Wait. What am I doing? Okay, pardon me. Okay, here's the service elevator. I cannot believe I missed that. This is just as bad as grabbing the last notebook on level one of Baldi's Basics Plus. <laughs> okay, okay, only Yoshi elevators will know what I'm talking about. Anyways, let's take the freight. The freight elevator goes L012. Here it is. Indicator up there. Or second floor. Remember, the second floor of this building is a mechanical level. Also goes down the lower levels. Go to two. I think that the lower levels have some more uh, machinery and some more uh, um, just equipment for the building itself. Um, we'll look there in a minute. Well, here's the second floor. Only service access. Yep, this is mechanical. Shoes. Yep, see, look, elevators L LP414, 415, 416. So that's machine room for those specific elevators. And they're, co they're coded. Don't know why they had to code them like that, but let's go on to LL1. This is a big elevator. Kind of looks more Bano style than anything. This isn't Bano, so. I don't know why it looks like that, but I've, I've seen I've seen I've seen situations like that before, especially in Bano where they and sometimes in Bano they would use Schindler H T V R. Normally you, you don't really see Schindler H T V R in the Bano edition. Um, I also saw not just Bano series one, but actual regular series one. Here's L one. Now there's nothing too too much to see down here. Um, this is pretty, uh, I'm pretty sure this is part of the elevator shaft. Actually, no, that's stairwell. I'm sorry. There's pretty much nothing down here. I actually don't know why this has a reason to exist, but. All right. Well, 
let's go back up to ML. I normally don't take the bridge, by the way, when it comes to th this place. Like, I don't take the bridge, like, through SL. Kind of just go right through outside on ML. I, 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 I just prefer it. It's easier to know where I'm going, that's why. Anyways, now we're back out here on ML. Which is where we started, of course. It's service elevator. This is passenger elevators. You can see I uh, look at the indicators. You can see I left this one on the first floor. We're gonna use our hacks to bring it back down with us. Or not. Where, where even is it? Oh, it's literally right above me. Why am I thinking this place is so tall? It's only like a floor up. I just wanna make it match, so it's only fair. Anyway, here we're back at ML. And that is now going to be it. Um, I'm actually going to watch the doors close and then it'll be it. Dual, dual towers and security looking on level SL again. There it goes and that's going to